a video on making a treacle tart. Well, kind of making a treacle tart. Is that plastic or oh, it's paper? So, a kind of making a treacle tart. Um, I made treacle tart for a function. Um, it's a long time since I've made so it made made them, um, and the, the rest of the use wasn't wasn't particularly very good, and I really should have researched it before I started. Um, but I kind of um, made it work in the end. Um, but at the end of the night, there was puddings, there was treacle tart left over. So me and the waitresses and waiters um, all had a bit of treacle tart, and it was nice. Um, but it kind of reminded me that plastic out of the way, like the auto recycling, um, that it tasted quite, well I'd used a homemade golden syrup, um, so it kind of like had a bit of spiciness to it and a bit of more lemon um, in it already, and then when I added more lemon to it, it was kind of quite uh, kind of quite citrusy. So, but I was kind of thinking, it was a, it was a lot of Treat, uh, of golden syrup treacle that I had to use, and I kind of thought oh, that was ex that was kind of ex expensive, really. And then because of the it tasted a little bit because of the citrus, it tasted a little bit orangey, and because it uh, because of the homemade treacle, it kind of had these different kind of flavors kind of going on. And I kind of thought to myself, could we actually make it out of orange marmalade instead of golden syrup? So that's what we're going to do. So golden syrup's a little bit too a little bit too thick so what I've done is I've taken 300 grams and I've added 100 grams worth of uh, water to it and so we've kind of got a syrup consistency and then how much bread have I got and then I've got 150 grams worth of bread which I think will be about about right I think and then I just bought a pastry case there's probably going to be too much for this pastry case um, but we'll kind of see how we go what's the what is it to see what size it is. Blah, 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 blah. I bought one, I couldn't be bothered making it. I've had enough of making pastry. Doesn't say what's that. It's about seven inch. Yeah, it's about seven inch. Uh, and it's not very deep. I would have preferred something a little bit deeper than that, but anyway, I just bought one. So that's the recipe. We'll put those in there like that. Of course, I, I did look up um, marmalade tarts on the internet, but it's, marmalade tarts are the same as um, jam tarts. So it's just a pastry case with. Um, with jam put in it, whereas uh, a treacle tart is like this. You boil the syrup and then add the breadcrumbs to it and then put it in the uh, tart mold and then you bake it. Oh, I've got stuff in the oven. Anyway, so let's see where we go. Uh, let's give it a taste. I think it's a bit more liquid in there. Uh, we'll see. I think that needs a bit more look at him, that's a little bit too bright. Let's put in let's do the whole gel of our load and then we'll do it that way. And we'll see how we go. And hopefully I've got enough charge on my phone. So whole jar and then we'll adjust the recipe accordingly. Should just melt the marmalade with the heat of the breadcrumbs, and then we'll get a bit of a better consistency. And it's just the bread, I've made some bread with a packet mix that I was just trying out, and then I kind of thought, well, this would be the perfect opportunity to use up the bread in a way that I didn't really want to. I'm not going to eat it, I'm not going to use it for anything. It was a freebie, so this just seems like a good way of. Isn't it? Oh, that's melting ish and then also we get the bits of grinding but it's also it's just the cheap stuff from the supermarket it's about 70p a jar it's nothing uh, nothing spectacular but I don't think it needs to be if we're just using it for this purpose it doesn't need to be anything anything kind of special and as it sets it sets Good thing I'm at home I think it'll be okay. And we should use really use white bread, but it's the um, best of both. So, that off. That in here, it looks like it's going to be potentially a good amount of sugar. It tastes alright. 
Probably could have done with a bit more. No, 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 no. I think this will be fine. I think this is a good ratio. And we've got spatula. Yes. So, me waffling as always, instead of getting all my things, instead of being prepared. So, I like most of in life. Wing it. And hope for the best. So, that, that'll do. That seems okay. That, 180 degrees. And what does this recipe say? Da, 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 da. Oh, 200 degrees for about 20 minutes. And we'll see how it turns out. Right. 20 minutes, let's have a look. There we go, it's starting to slightly colour on top and it looks like it's set. Oh, slightly the, not um, melted the um, marmalade there, but we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Probably something might have done with, I suppose, what was I going to think? I was thinking, um, depends what breadcrumbs you kind of use. So this bread that I baked is kind of quite dense. Um, whereas cheap bread that you buy to turn into breadcrumbs is less dense. So it was this, this bread with this, this stuff, this um, Hovis best of both worlds um, with wheat German wholemeal bread. Uh, just add water, bread mix. But it's made quite a good loaf, but anyway, that's, that's by the by. So it probably would have been a bit diff, hmm, yeah, so. But difficult, difficult to kind of judge what um, the consistency of the breadcrumb um, is is going to kind of going to do to a something like a treacle or a marmalade tart. But anyway, we'll see what it's like when we cut into it. But I can't give you a, a kind of like there won't be like a, a like a hard hard set recipe for it to get like a perfect kind of results because it can depends on the bread and it can depends on the the treacle on the marmalade that you're using. But anyway, we'll let it cool. We'll see how it turns out. It has cooled enough. Let's have a look at it. Get it out of this pastry case. Carefully. And then, nice texture, but it's not really always about texture. It's about how something tastes. In all honesty. And I think it'll be nice. Pastry's got a nice crunch to it. I think, mm, well, it's bought pastry. But I don't need that much. And I can take it to work tomorrow and give it to people. Because if I keep it at home, I'll just eat it all. So, still warm. Pastry's a bit crumbly. How's it taste? That's delicious. That's delicious. So, 70, I forgot what, what, what golden sort of kind of comes in, what size wise, it's about five, is it five or is it 600 grams? And it's about one pound 50. So I reckon maybe marmalades, cheap marmalades, maybe half the price of golden syrup treacle. So it's certainly a lot cheaper to use marmalade and it's cheaper to use marmalade because we don't have to buy the lemons. So we would have put two lemons in that. Lemons are about 30 pence a piece. No, 25 pence a piece. So we save on using marmalade instead of golden syrup and we save on the lemon as well. So there we go, that's delicious. That's lovely. Um, it will be something on the internet for that. There's no new ideas whatsoever in the world, ever. So, but when you Google or go on YouTube and search for a, a marmalade tart, it's just a pastry case with marmalade put into it and then baked in the oven, same as a jam tart. But we've made it more like a, like a treacle tart. Someone else will have done it, you know, I'm not, I'm not brilliant or anything, I don't invent anything new. It's just idea, as ideas kind of come to you. So. But also, um, we could potentially do the same with with honey. So we've got some honey here. We've got some 
we could do the same. So we could replace the marmalade or the treacle. We could do it with honey. Uh, we've got some different types of honey. Um, we've got some orange blossom honey and uh, manuka honey. How would we pronounce that? Is that going a bit solid? I think that's going a bit solid. No, it's just, it was oh, it naturally above solid. Yeah, so we could use those instead of the, uh, of, of the, of the marmalade. Uh, this is some quince jelly that my friend gave me. It's very nice. We could use that as well. Um, potentially, you could even use jam as well. Um, jam's about... This is cheap stuff that I use for cooking. That's about 40 pence. So that was even more cheap. That's even cheaper than than the marmalade. Why am I having trouble saying marmalade? But anyway, and what else was I going to think? Or, or, um, you wouldn't just, I shouldn't be putting things away, I should be talking to the camera. So, even if you didn't have just quite enough golden syrup or just enough marmalade, you could combine those when you melt them and then add the breadcrumbs and make a bit of a mix of match. So you could turn something that's a, say you've got half a jar of marmalade and you've got a little bit of golden syrup left and you've got some uh, honey and um, you could mix all those together to get up to the right amount uh, even maybe even bulk it out with a bit of make a bit of sugar syrup whatever you've got in the house and you could make something like that uh, from from things that you've got uh, knocking about it's a bit of stale well, it's a bit of bread that's a little bit old it's a pastry case it doesn't take much to um, make a bit of pastry um, but there we go that works it's delicious and um, I might put it on a menu maybe maybe but anyway a success